And this is our cat, Lily. This is Cinder. We've got the truck. We've got the trailer. And we're ready for our RV travel class. Hi guys, this is Rob. This is Sherry. And today is bet day for Cinder. <laughs> so, yeah. Cinder wants her window open. Uh, this is the health checkup. Since we're in another state, uh, we're just having her checked up, uh, get all of her shots up to date, which we urge you to do. And uh, you normally have to get an exam, so uh, why fight it? So that's what we're gonna do. Anyway, and we're gonna check into other vaccinations and things that you need when you're down south um, that we haven't done when we're in the Northwest. So here we go, we'll show you what we can, and hopefully you're taking good care of your pets too. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Okay, we're here. Uh, building's right over there. Um, We'll see what we can film for you, but um, we'll tell you exactly what the vet's been telling. It will tell us about having a, a pet down south. And here we go. Cinder has no idea. All right, Cinder, here we go. Lily for her radio. That would be wonderful. I'll make copies of all that for her chart. So we're also registering our cat, if you guys are wondering, but Cinder's the one getting the appointment today. So of course we have to do the paperwork. So uh, yeah, that's the only problem when you're coming into another state. Uh, we had to get all the records sent in uh, so on their computer for both our dog and cat. So you're in the exam room now, still filling out paperwork. So Cinder's checkup turned out super. Uh, we thought we'd be courteous. We didn't take the, the camera into the uh, checkup room or whatever they call it, exam room uh, out of courtesy and plus the vet wasn't that excited about being on film but the people in the front were so we're very grateful to the vet that we worked with and so we thought we'd share with you what we learned. So our big goal was going in and making sure that uh, uh, Cinder had all of her shots up to date and while I'm talking to you I've got to fix my phone so we don't get interfered with so welcome to life so, so go okay. ahead so first of all I would like to say that we went to the Palisades Veterinary Hospital in Fountain Hills Arizona we were treated very well yes we were um, they were very patient with us and um, we had a few questions moving into this region on what type of protection we needed for our animals and they were very patient and explained um, all the different options and stuff. Our biggest concern down here is there's two things that we got to watch out for and there's no vaccination but you need to be aware of it is valley fever um, which it can just pick up by sniffing the soils and stuff like that the cure to that is if they're getting sick and they're nauseous and stuff like that, take them to the vet and they're treated with an antibiotic for that. But you have to get them in as soon as you know that something's not right. Our other big concern here is rattlesnakes. Yep. We're in an area that has a lot of them and you saw that we had some video of them. It's very easy for us to go find them if we want to go look for them. They're in the area. But the thing is it happens even in the neighborhoods of Phoenix just out of the blue you could just have one on your doorstep you could have one in uh, your by your walkway uh, so many people like to hike the Camelback Mountain and things like that and this time of year uh, from now from pretty much April till September they're out in forces lots of rattlesnakes out it's a fact of life down here just got to be diligent and and watch for them and be careful so the problem is with dogs are curious and what's the first thing they do they use their nose and that if they get bit in their facial area you don't have much time so this is what we found out so we found two things out one of them there is training your dog yeah uh, you can actually there's some um, trainers in the area that will help to train your dog to avoid the rattlesnakes and we haven't checked into that yet, yeah. but it's something that we definitely might want to do because we do like to uh, hike up on some of the mountains and just where our RV is parked, right across the road is just an open field. Yep. 
anyway, so there's a training issue that can be done to help address the the rattlesnakes, and the other is a vac- an annual vaccination. Yep, which I was really surprised. I had no idea that you mm. could get a vaccination for rattlesnakes. Now it's not a cure, but it's a it's buys you time, is my understanding. Yeah, and that's what she said. Is you know that basically if they if your animal were to get bit you still need to immediately get them into a hospital and we're not talking about waiting until the next morning to do it it's you need to go to emergency 24-hour service and that is one thing that um, the vet clinic provided was uh, several 24-hour emergency services in this area so we've got those and we keep them up on our bulletin board now so we know exactly what to do if she does get bit but because she got this vaccination and there's two shots involved, she has another one in four weeks. She, it basically buys more time to get your dog to a emergency clinic for treatment and antivenom. Um, but if you don't have that shot, especially if they're bit in the face, or whatever, they could actually die within 20 minutes. So. It's precious time that you're buying with this particular uh, particular vaccination. So uh, the side effects, they said, is very minimal. Um, Cinder had her first shot today, no issues whatsoever. Yeah. She's not even tired or sleepy or anything. So she did great, and in four weeks we'll follow up with that shot. So what else did we do? So the other, um, we asked about just what other issues that could uh, we could run into down in the southern states and with us being from state of Washington we don't have some of the same issues so one of the things that we didn't have to worry about in Washington but we do have to worry about down here is heartworm yep. and you know it's it's something that's not real common but it does happen and uh, the vet we talked to said that they have had a couple of cases each year that come up that deal with the heartworm so once again heartworm is uh, something that is done like a flea and tick Uh, it's given monthly it it is just in pill form Uh, but you have to be tested for it before they'll give it to it which is a blood test which it can once they draw the blood they can actually do the test within 10 minutes yeah it took about 10 minutes and she tested negative to everything she's very healthy but we did get her a prescription for the heartworm and so she'll be now taking the heartworm uh, monthly as well as a flea and tick so that's the other thing we did for her so the flea and tick uh, there's two different options you have there you can do the -the over-the-counter that you can get through petco uh, topical um, liquid that you put drops on in their fur (coughs) Or they have a new one, which is called Next Guard, which is a in a pill. However, that has to be uh, is by prescription only. Yep. And I like the idea of the the pill because Cinder takes pills very very easily. It doesn't leave any residue on her skin that possibly could the cat could get into, which could hurt the cat. So we chose to do the prescription, the uh, and it's a monthly pill, just like the heartworm. Um, chewable and it does the same thing it's a prevention for uh, fleas and ticks yep. fleas aren't big down here <coughs> but, uh, but ticks ticks are. ticks are so we did that as well and uh, the one thing we want to be thankful to this particular veterinary hospital is they're really uh, sensitive to trying to uh, keep cost under control they really know I really noticed that because when we're in Seattle I mean I, I remember when we wanted to try to get Cinder's prescription um, some other places, there was as high as $59, $79 just to do exam. These folks were only $32 to do a, a healthy exam. A vaccine exam. Yeah, and, and still be able to renew her prescription through them now so Now that we're in Arizona and now uh, uh, that she's registered with them. So uh, I was really thankful that they, uh, we actually did some major things here and we did have a pretty hefty bill it was under three hundred dollars but it was closer to three hundred than two hundred but we also got a six-month supply of the heartworm and the yep. 
flea and tick medication as well. So the big thing is like, I hope everybody takes very seriously, if you're going to travel with your pets, uh, these things are important. And uh, I know, you guys know how much we love Cinder and we love Lily. And if we, they got sick down here or something happened to them, and there was something we could have done to prevent it from happening, I'd feel terrible. And, uh, you know, we don't have our kids with us anyway. So those are our kids. So it really means a lot to us to get this done. And yes, it, is it expensive? Yes. Um, and our attitude is just don't go to casino for one night. <laughs> <laughs> well, the big thing is you can spread some of these out. Yeah. Um, both of the animals have their annual vaccinations, which are coming up in, in June. June. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's really important that they have their rabies shots. And for any dog, any place, anywhere, make sure your aunt pets have the, that rabies vaccination. Um, uh, Cinder's is up this year. It was a three-year vaccination, so she'll have to get a new one at the end of the year. But it's just real important to protect your animals the best you possibly can. Yep. So I, I hope uh, you, if you guys are curious of how Cinder's appointment went, we're hoping that you realize that uh, we take the responsibility for our pets and we ask you, are you taking good care of your pets? Are you all up to date on your vaccines? And if you're traveling, have you found out the areas that you're in? Some areas are worse for heartworm disease and like the Northwest is almost unheard of. Lyme disease is another one. Yeah. It's not common over here, but you get over on East the East Coast. Coast it's, it is a lot more common. So, you know, where you're traveling, you really need to check out what vaccines and uh, shots your pets should have yeah so anyway we thought we'd just give you a report we hope this has been helpful to you and we hope we uh, gave you some good information for your pet uh, I know how much you love your pets like we said in some of our videos now we're we want you to be part of our family and we want to be part of your families and your pets and so if we can share some information that's helpful to keep our pets healthy uh, I, I think it's worthwhile so I, this might be a little bit of a long video I apologize but I think it's worthwhile information to share so uh, is there anything else you can think of no just take care of your them pets we love them dearly <laughs> yep we do so I'm Rob I'm Sherry I want to thank you very much for watching please share our videos this is an important video let people know uh, uh, what we found out about having your pets down in the south so Anyway, please take the time to share, subscribe, like our videos, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. Please take the time to like and subscribe to our videos to see our future shows. Also next to me is a few of our more popular shows. Thanks for watching.